Our project came out of the National Equally Well Initiative by Te Pau. Research from that initiative showed that the life expectancy of people with prolonged and chronic mental illness is up to 25 years less than those without. When we started looking in our region, uh, we started by looking at people who were on clozapine. Clozapine is a drug that's used for schizophrenia. It's very effective, but it has really, really nasty side effects. And what we found was that only 2% of the people who are on that medication in our region had had cardiometabolic screening. So we've put a few um, initiatives in place. We've got a new screening tool, uh, which has been picked up by a couple of other places across the country. Um, and what's really exciting is now um, more than 91% of those people have had cardiometabolic screening. But what's even more exciting than that is that we've been able to put interventions in uh, at the point of screening, which is improving the quality of these people's lives. It's, um, it, it, that's what it's all about, really. So um, on behalf of the team, that's Helen Lynch, Jossie Wood, Rebecca Lukey, and Karen Cargill and myself, um, would like to say a massive thank you to everyone who's supported us. Um, it's a really, really great honour to receive this award, and we're quite excited about using the money to expand the project further to hopefully encompass all people who are on antipsychotics. Um, so we are excited to be making a positive difference um, about the quality of life of the people um, in our region going forward. Thank you.